Hey guys, okay, so today our message is the yes of Christ. And this whole last week we've been working on the theme of praise. And I'm really grateful for how this author put together these devotions because next week it's titled pain. And so I'm really glad that we've had such positive and encouraging things up to this point because we're ready for pain next week. We can study that. We need to study that. We need to know that. And so having gone through um, praise and encouragement and a dose of joy and ponder and all these other positive things, we're ready. We're ready for this. Okay, but let's go ahead and stick with praise for one more wonderful day. So the yes of Christ, we read in 2 Corinthians 1, 19. For the Son of God who was preached among you was not yes and no, but in him it has always been yes. Praising God is always about sharing the yes of Christ's love and hope for all people. Too often we are perceived as people who say no to life more than we say yes. We, at times, appear to be against things rather than for things. This does not mean that we do not counsel, advise, and share our values but it might indicate that our focus of praise has become centered on defending and protecting our Easter Lord, rather than proclaiming and celebrating his presence among us. G.K. Chesterton described the no mindset as the blasphemy of pessimism. The opposite of a pessimistic view of life is not optimism, but rather faith in the yes message of our Lenten and Easter Lord. Let's pray. Lord of yes, keep moving us from living a no kind of life to a yes kind of life as we become the yes people of Easter. In your name we pray, the mighty name of Jesus, amen. All right, and now for our Living Lent Today challenge. It says, how often do you hear messages of no rather than words of yes throughout your day. That is a good challenge. That's something to, to think about. Not something to sit in, like in all the, the muck and mire of that, but just something to kind of mm, take analysis of. Well, with the dog barking in the background, I will sign off and see you all tomorrow. Bye.